What's up, YouTube? It's Zman10 here, and uh, today I got the first half of the new jailbreak that just came out. Um, it's coming out tomorrow, actually. Um, today is September 21st, 2010, and this is Red Snow 0.9.6b1. And what that's gonna do is, um, it's gonna let you jailbreak uh, the iPod Touch 2G. MB model and the MC model. Now the catch with the MC model is um it will be tethered, which means you have to plug up your computer and re jailbreak every time you want to turn your iPod back on. Um if it dies or you turn it off. Um it's not it's not hard, it's a very simple process. It doesn't take very long. Um so first, uh oh and another another device that is available on it is the iPhone three G. New boot ROM and old boot ROM. So that's the two devices that work. So first you're going to browse for your firmware. And I will have Red Snow down below in the video description. Um, I am going to go into my jailbreak folder. And you're going to want to grab your 4.1 software this time. It's going to process your firmware. It's going to ask you if you have the newer um, fixed model. Uh, which is the MC model, or you don't have it. I have the iPod Touch 2G, not MC. Um, and if you guys want to see proof, I am on 4.1. And if I show you here, general about version 4.1 MB model. Okay, so that's your proof. Um, I think I'll show you here too. No, maybe not. Okay. Well, sorry about that. Um, so you're gonna continue with Red Snow, of course. Okay, next, it's gonna connect to the server. It's good jailbreak because you can prepare for it. Um, so just loaded. Okay, now when it comes to here. You're going to want to install Cydia, that's the main um, program and application uh, thing for jailbreaking. You're going to want to enable multitasking because you have the iPod Touch 2G and th or iPhone 3G and you want multitasking because it's sick. Enable home screen wallpaper so you'll make, be able to make your own home screen wallpaper. And enable battery percentage, that's always helpful. Next, you're going to want to turn off your device just by holding the top button. Slide to turn off, and my iPod is off now. And just be ready to put your device in a DFU mode. Um, if you don't know how to do that, you're gonna want to hold uh, the power button for three seconds, so you see the Apple logo. Then you want to hold the power and the home button again uh, after that for ten seconds, and then release the power button. Keep holding the home button for another fifteen or so seconds. So you're going to want to hit next and just follow the process. It shows you how to do it on the computer. So we're holding both the power and the home button. for Three more seconds, two, one. Keep uh, holding the home button when you release the power button. And uh, basically what's going to happen is it's going to, keep, it's going to turn white. And that lets you know that you did it right. It's going to reboot, shut off, reboot. Now it's showing you that it's uploading the RAM disk and stuff like that. It's downloading the jailbreak now. So now the part on um, the computer is finished, you can just hit finish. And the rest of it's on your device. Pretty easy stuff. I'm going to cut this video because I don't want it to be too long. Now you see this little pineapple guy, he's just going to be loading, and your device is going to reboot, and it's now going to be jailbroken, so it's just rebooting now. And uh, if you guys have any questions or concerns, leave me comments down below. Um, I try to answer everyone's questions, just try not to repeat any questions. Um, just check out the comments below to see who, uh, who asked that same question that you did. 
And um, if I don't get to your question, I'm sure someone else would help out. They were doing that in the last video I made. Um, if you guys need to check out which uh, which iPod and iPhone work for uh, this jailbreak, just look down below, and I'll have links for Red Snow and for firmware that you can download from. I'm going to slide to unlock, and I'm on 4.1, obviously. And if you see in the bottom... See, I have Cydia now. I didn't have Cydia before. So we're going to open up Cydia, and I'm going to prove to you that it works this time. Because the beta was a little bit, uh, laggy. It's actually going to close out and download the... It's going to download all the jailbreak stuff and all that. So if you guys like my videos, please uh, thumbs up on this video and comment below again. Um, it really helps me out because it uh, lets me know what you guys want and what you guys need to know. Because I want everyone to have a safe, happy jailbreaking experience. So you come back to my channel for the new jailbreaks. Now, I will tell you that the new jailbreak is coming out tomorrow. Today is Tuesday, September 21st. Tomorrow... Wednesday, September 22nd, the, the official jailbreak will come out for all the other devices. This is just released because the iPhone, iPhone 3G and the iPod Touch 2G, MB and MC, um, have kind of like a different, different build to it. Um, so you can see it's reorganizing, but, um, they have a different build to it. So it, it's like an older kind of device. So it, it like it's easier to make the firmware and it's easier to make the the exploit for the jailbreak and stuff like that. And what I mean by exploit is the way to get around Apple. It's nothing bad. Exploit is a good thing. So you're gonna want to choose user graph user graphical here. And it's gonna load up. CD is just gonna load. I just want to show you guys this whole process. Because some people think I'm faking and stuff like that. And this is the new Cydia layout that's available. It's very nice. Um, Cirque did a good job. And as you can see above, I have iOS 3.1.2 and iOS 4.0 and 4.0.2. Um, SHSH file saved. Um, if you guys don't know what that is, check out on my channel. Um, you can... What, you, what that actually does is allow you to downgrade if you don't like your firmware. See, like on 4.1, if you don't like the firmware, downgrade, um, but save your SHSA files. So this program allows you to downgrade and bypass Apple's lock on not lo allowing you to downgrade. It's actually a very cool process. Um, I have a video. I'll put it down in the description if you need. Um, so here you're going to do complete upgrade. And it's just going to update everything, so you're going to confirm, and it's just going to download all the updates and stuff. But, um, yeah, so if you guys like this video, please thumbs up, and I'll have all the info down there in the description. Please like this video, and please subscribe. Thanks a lot, guys.